So you ever have one of those life-changing events that essentially just pivots your whole life, right? And completely steers it down a completely different path. That's the kind of life-changing event I am talking about. And today I actually wanna talk about something that I do, I have mentioned a couple times in my videos, and that's essentially when I went in the military and where I was at that point. Now, leading up to that particular point, right, I had just gone out of college. I was actually working at a library, right? So I was actually getting paid pretty well. I was getting paid above minimum wage in Southern California. So at that time, I thought I was doing pretty good, right? And I was only able to get, I think, maybe 50 hours a week and it was still wasn't enough i mean the expenses in california are quite ridiculous right and so at this point in my life you know i was going to college full time i had a full uh, school schedule on top of my work schedule and i felt like i wasn't getting ahead right like all the extra time i had i was trying to study and go to school and then turn around and work you know like 40 hours a week on top of everything and it was just became overwhelming and so what I ended up doing is it became so overwhelming that I essentially dropped out of college, right? And I was, I wanted to be a psychologist, right? That was like my thing, that was my goal, that was my plan initially coming out of high school. I had a bunch of different plans, but that was the one I executed on. And so, you know, coming out of college, you know, I did a couple weeks and it just wasn't for me. Then I went full-time work, right? I was working two jobs, 80 hours a week becoming exhausted and I I did some some crazy different things during that time right just to try to to find my way essentially and I, I quit that job at the library I, I moved around a lot and I got to the point to where it became so much right I feel like I was extremely struggling I had to get out of the situation I was in and I remember at the time you know my father was telling me hey you can come move back up to where we were staying at and at the time he was staying up in upstate New York where there really wasn't a lot of opportunity right and I felt like if I was going to have opportunity it'd be here and now in Southern California but yet there was no opportunity coming right I was not extremely knowledgeable about a lot of different things. I was into computers a little bit at the time and I didn't really do much else, right? I was working a security job. I was, I was just working my butt off and I was just not getting anywhere. And so I, I finally got fed up, right? I was like, okay, I gotta get out of the situation. The environment I'm in, it just isn't working for me. So I got a plane ticket out, I flew up and I stayed with my dad and you know, at this particular time, it's extremely frustrating, right? Especially going to my father's, I know, again, the opportunity was really limited right now. Going up there, either you worked at the pharmaceutical company or you, you know, worked for the state or something, and that was essentially where the money was, right? If you didn't have one of those two jobs or even construction, right, that you weren't getting paid well at all. You were barely scraping by. And I had lived up there for a couple years before my parents had split, so I knew the environment that I was getting in, but yet I felt this like calling, right, to go up there. I was like, I just need a break, right? Like it's been extremely hard out here. And so fast paced in my mind, right? Especially coming out of the new world, you know, what to exactly to expect. So when I got up to my father's, right, I remember the first thing I did was I applied to that pharmaceutical company. And, you know, I heard so many rumors about how, you know, you had to know somebody to get in. It was one of those kind of places. And that it wasn't, it wasn't easy at all. And I applied, I don't know how many times. And it seemed like a lot, but over the span, it was only like two or three months before I actually decided to join the military. And again, I was, I was applying to that. I couldn't find a job, I think like for the first month I was there, I ended up actually getting a job where my sister was working at in this, you know, installation, truck installation company, right? And if you could just imagine, right? Like it was, it was exactly as exciting as it sounds, right? Essentially all I did was I had a box cutter and I cut cardboard all day, right? Like the new pamphlets, which the new panels would come in and you'd cut here, here, you write that all the lines would be drawn out for you. You cut it and you essentially pack it, tape some stuff on it and then send it down the belt, right? That's essentially all I did, right? And I picked up as many hours as I could 
and it was it was essentially just barely over minimum wage and I'm talking like 50 to maybe even a dollar it wasn't nowhere near even as much as I was getting paid at the library and so it was extremely frustrating right and the only thing I could think of was you know if I work hard well maybe I can become a manager and the manager you know doesn't hardly even make that much more money right he gets all these extra you know tasks he has to execute every day plus manage everybody and then you only get paid like you know two three dollars more maybe possibly even four dollars and it wasn't even a lot right and although the area i was living in that seemed to be more money right it seemed to be just above you know poverty level right like you were barely scraping by either way even with a management position and if that pharmaceutical company wouldn't come through, like I, there was no way I was gonna make it. Like this is the rest of my life. Like I wouldn't have made any progress. And then I started considering going back to college. And for me, you know, you always look at that window, right? Like college is essentially you allocate four years and that's what it is. And you're gonna dedicate at least four years to get a degree in something that's hopefully good. And at the time, again, I've always been interested in computers. I wanted to go back for a computer, a degree in computers, right? In computer science. And so as my mind was thinking about these things, right? I was like, well, even if I did that, I would still have to work, right? And my dad was telling me, no, you can just concentrate on college. And I'm like, to me, that just wasn't working out in my mind, right? It was like, I can't do that. Like, I still have to make money. And I've always been that way in my life, not that, you know, I'm, I'm money hungry, but more the fact that I need to feel like I can essentially pay my way, right? I didn't want to be that person. And so going to college, it seemed far-fetched. It seemed too out of reach for me. And it wasn't quick enough for me. And again, my resources were really limited at the time. And I had debated going in the military for a long time. And you know that was originally my plan i know when i was like 16 17 i had a bunch of family that was in the military and i was like military is where it's going to be at that's what i'm going to do and then you know the more it started coming around to graduation and everything you know 9 11 had just happened it's post 9 11 and so you know there was a lot of the world essentially didn't know where we were standing right like we were going to go to war and there was so much going on and so at that time, for me to think about going in the military, I was like, well, you know, I hear a bunch of stories, right? Because I have family members in there. And it's like, it's not that I wanted to be on the front lines, right? I wanted to go in and be able to have a skill I could get to go on the outside. Because what if for some reason, right, I go, I do whatever the minimum amount of time was, and then I get out, right? I don't want to be in anymore and I get out. Am I going to have a skill that applies to the real world, right? And so that's my whole idea before even going in, before even thinking about the military. And so I, I debated, I was like, no, I'll just go to college. And so that's the route I went. And then come to this point when I'm working in this truck factory, right? It was, it was back at that point, like, what are my options here really? Like, I really don't have any options. The only option I have is that. And that's like an accelerated option, essentially, right? Like, it could essentially put me on my feet, allow me to live on my own and do those things I want to do, right? And not have to worry about a roof over my head and the food in my stomach, right? Because essentially that stuff would be taken care of as long as I could manage my money, right? And so, at that point, I, I really sat and I thought about it and I was like, okay, well, what branches could I go in, right? And I was going over everything and I heard a bunch of different stories about what branches to go in, what branches not to go in. And so my original plan was actually to go in the Marine Corps as a sniper, right? That was my hoorah, let's get it done. That's what I wanted to do, right? I was all about that kind of mentality at that time. And then, you know, my dad told me this story about just, you know, if that's really your mentality, then, you know, in the day, it was the dinner winter, you know, and he said, go sit outside in the backyard in the snow for two days and I'll come get you after that. And that really opened my eyes. Like, that's, that's not at all what I want to do, right? Like, yeah, I'm hardcore, but that's not going to get me the skills I need. Once I leave this, the realm of the military, right? Like, it wasn't, it wasn't a skill I can really apply in the real world. And of course my mindset has changed a lot since that point but this is the way of my thinking right at that particular point point. and so i was like okay well I, i'm gonna win whether 
it was either Navy or the Air Force. Those were my choices, right? And so my first option was the Air Force. And I went and applied and took the test and did everything. And everything was good. And it was essentially just on a waiting window, right? To where I would actually go in. And I think I waited like a month and a half because I was waiting for a specific job to open up before I could actually go in. I didn't want to just go in open general and a lot of people do that and they end up you know screwing themselves over essentially right because they they just take whatever job and you essentially get the bottom of the barrel kind of jobs and so i wanted telecommunications right like i i tried to get computer programming i didn't score high enough at the time and and that was really frustrating right because that was like my dream job like i was doing it in high school on my own you know, for, for my own benefit, right? I was doing a bunch of different, you know, JavaScript, HTML, a bunch of different things. And to not be able to go, right? Like it was, it was frustrating, but I was like, well, you know, this is still a good career field. I can do this. It keeps me physical because at the time I was a very physical person as well. That was like my mindset, right? Like it will keep me in shape, right? It will have a job that keeps me in shape. And so I essentially took that job, right? And then a month and a half later, I finally ended up going in and it was the best decision I believe I could have ever made that has completely changed my life 110% from where I it was at because who knows where I would have been at that point if I would have stayed where I was at in that small town you know I could have again barely been scraping by going in and out of college just trying to figure out a way to get my life back on track right and that's the hardest thing when your options are limited you you definitely have to look for the best option right and at the time that was one of the best options i had because there was no way i was going to try to go back to california which was so expensive and to try to make it out there when in fact you know this is you know during the the dot com boom and all that stuff and yeah i had some skills but i wasn't knowledgeable enough to to realize that i could make any money off of that stuff and and during that time right i was i was more concerned about getting my life on track and the only thing i knew about was you know going to that nine to five job and and going that way right and so ultimately that was one of the biggest changes I've had in my life and it was one of the best changes I've ever had, right? I did eight years and it taught me a lot, right? Like I was very self-disciplined at a young age and so it just kind of re-emphasized that stuff. It had a better structure for me. It essentially puts training wheels on you, right? And going into life so you, so you live on your own and really enjoy life, right? And I had tons of fun, right? I learned tons of things. I have, you know, tons of, had great experiences, you know, being, being the countries I would have never thought I would want to be in and experiencing some of the experiences that people will never experience, right? And that's the biggest thing is it was, it was one of the best times in my life and I met some of the greatest people in my life and I built some of the great, greatest friendships in my life in the military, right? And, and so that whole thing just essentially, it changed my life, right? It changed my perspective on a lot of things. Yeah, I did travel a lot before that point, but you know, this helped me travel around the world and see places I would have never have thought I ever wanted to go. And so that's ultimately just it, is that, you know, these life events, right? You have to really look at your resources and see what there is. And that's the biggest thing is, is finding those resources, right? And not ever completely saying no. And sometimes you just have to try it, right? Like I could have done just the four years in the military and been out. And at the four year mark, I, I considered it, but I was like, no, you know what? I'm enjoying myself, I'm gonna stay in, right? And get as many skills as I can. And I end up getting, you know, college benefits and housing benefits and all these other different benefits just from being in. And then being a veteran, right? I have honorable discharge, so that just, a lot, it carries a lot more weight, right? Than a lot of other things in life. And that was ultimately what I was waiting that I wanted to achieve was have that and ultimately just have that experience and being able to go through something that I can say I actually went through that I lived that I know that how hard it was and how you know beneficial it was for myself so again just look for resources if you feel like you know there's an event in your life that you are struggling with you just again look for whatever resources you got and 
consider the options and, and sometimes take them, right? If the situation you're not in is limited you to that one resource, we'll try it anyway, even though you may be against it, right? Like I was against it for a long time. Even after initially that was my plan, I, I went with it, right? And it paid out right? and it paid out big for me changed my life completely. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button on the way out. Until next time, I will see you guys later.